Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to talk to you about FOMO. And you know what I mean. It's one of those ridiculous lingos that go everywhere, but it's true, like, and it's true. And my FOMO this year has been about the books that I haven't been able to get from the library, been able to buy, so I haven't been able to read that I'm number 70 on the wish, or on the waiting list at the library and it might come in six months, those books. So I am gonna tell you my 2019 FOMO books that I wanted to read so badly but don't think I'm gonna get to by the end of the year. I'm sure you have a list for me too. So in no particular order, A Woman Is No Man, which is about a Air woman living in America, dealing with cultural differences and family expectations. I've only heard amazing things about it. Just haven't been able to either get my hands on it or I'm a huge mood reader. So I haven't like been in the mood for it. And that's totally my fault, but I just really want to read it. The next one is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. It's a nanny. I'm sure you know all of these synopsis because these books are obviously big books. But a nanny who gets accused of murdering, um, I think one of the children or, or more than one child, and it goes through that and it's a thriller and I've heard super good things. I've heard mixed feelings about the end, but I'm still super excited to read it because I have no idea. I've kept myself spoiler free. So definitely excited for that one. The Silent Patient too is one of those very mixed reviews. That's the one where the, one, the wife murders the husband and then stops talking. It's so crazy appealing to me. <laughs> I feel like, are we like, is there something wrong with us when we're like, ooh, I wanna know about this murder story. But anyway, it's just what it is. Uh, City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. I loved Eat, Pray, Love. I loved just the wanderlust of it and just going out and traveling. And sometimes I feel like I'm a little stuck where I am. and. I love books for like getting out of my own reality and doing things that I want to do but maybe aren't able to do or don't have the guts to do. Uh, so I'm excited for City of Girls. It's like a 1940s love story that's revisited from the future. Her? I don't really know. Probably not a good synopsis. Middle Game has been around and it's on like the Goodreads um, book of the year for fantasy I think honestly I can't even get a good like description of what it is but it just the cover is so cool it's like a hand and a fire I think and it sounds like maybe battling for station within the society but I could be way way off but it just sounds so interesting so I'm totally in for that one um maybe you should talk to somebody I listened to a podcast with the author and it totally, I loved it and I've heard really good things. I feel like my nonfiction reading has really dropped off in the last few months. So I want to make sure to try to add a couple back in every month. And so that one is a therapist who then goes to therapy and really gets the value out of that. Uh, graphic novel wise, Heartstopper 1 and 2. Everyone raves about this no graphic novel. So I'm totally into like read it and see how swoony it is because I'm, I'm sure it is uh the secret week the secrets we keep so like secret spies during the cold war i think they may be yeah they're females i think like secretaries so that sounds super awesome to me and then a curse so dark and lonely i actually have bought because i got it on sale when it was um on sale for the kindle it is a modern retelling of Beauty and the Beast. The next book in the series comes out early in 2020. So it's just definitely one I need to get to right away, but I just haven't. But those are my FOMO books for 2019 that I feel like I'm going to miss out if I don't make sure to read them because they seem to be super well loved or maybe even like polarizing because sometimes if so many po books like if people are on both sides of the reviews like they either love it or they either hate it it sometimes draws me in more because I want to make my own opinion which I don't know I'm I do like take into account other people's opinions when I'm picking books but 
everybody's so different and I honestly soapbox for a minute think ratings are kind of unfair I know there's no other good way to do it but like your ratings could change on the same book if you read it last year and loved it were in a horrible reading slump this year and tried to read it and hated it and it couldn't you know like so it's like your mental state where you are physically where what time of year it is if the book was if you were even the audience for the book like sometimes adult reading middle grades can not like them because they're seeing it from an adult perspective instead of the middle grade that it was intended for anyway so soap soap box i'm done but anyway i uh, thank you for hanging out with me tonight i would love to know what your most fomo book is it doesn't have to be a 29 release or 2019 release it can be anything but like what book do you feel like you're missing out on because you haven't read and yeah you guys have a great night i'd love if you give me a like subscribe and hang out i'd love to get to know you better good night